What's up guys, we are back for another NECA Toys review, taking a look today at the original Predator. That's right, we've got the Jungle Hunter here. This is the Ultimate Edition. This is one of the reissues, he's not exactly new, but NECA pumped some more of these out into the market, and I finally got one for myself, so we're going to take a look. We've got him here in our standard Ultimate style packaging, so you've got a shot of the Predator in red there on the front, and then we've got a bunch of product shots on the back showcasing the figure and all its accessories as well as, well as a write-up. And then of course being an Ultimate package, we have got the front flap that you can open so we can see the figure in a, a nice action pose, and then we've got a shot of him in the big window there, so very collector-friendly stuff as usual. So let's do it, let's pull him out and take a look. And here he is out of the package, our ultimate jungle hunter figure. And you know, a lot of folks out there who are watching this, well, assuming you're even watching this, may already have this figure because this guy is definitely not new, but NECA has been reissuing the original two Predators in their ultimate form. So of course this guy and then our city hunter friend as well. And I'm just now getting my hands on these. So I of course have got to jump in and take a look. And I'm very, very excited to mess around with this figure because, I mean, obviously this is the original Predator, but not to mention, this figure comes with some really cool stuff, so there's a lot to take in with this guy. Of course, we're going to start, as always, with articulation, see what he can do. It's an ultimate Predator, I mean, it's kind of the ultimate Predator, so I'm not too sure there's a lot to be surprised with here, but let's see what he can do. So we'll start at the head, as always, and you've got a peg that's, uh, you know, got a ball down in the neck and then a peg. So he goes up, he goes all the way down, and then you can tilt side to side and then rotate. The arms do go all the way out. You can, uh, you know, swivel that bicep. We've got double jointed elbows. Get you pretty good range there, more than 90 by far. You've got swivels at the gauntlet and you've got hinges and rotation at the wrist. You do have to watch, this is the guy that, I guess this is the one that maybe started the tubes in terms of the armor for the ultimate figures. So you've got the tube that comes from the bicep to the, to the gauntlet down here to the uh, bracer. So watch when you're hinging this elbow and then you've got one that goes from the chest to the shoulder pad, so watch when you're flaying it out, just so you don't snap them. I've, I've done that on, I don't know, every single figure that I have, I think, with this body, so we'll see how long it takes me to do it with this one. You've got an upper diaphragm twist, so he goes backwards, he goes forwards a little bit, you go side to side, and then of course you can rotate, and then you've got your waist twist down there as well, which is a, a ball peg. Legs go out, they kick forward and back, and then you can uh, cut in there at the thigh, double jointed knees, and then we've got the telltale neck of ball pegs down at the ankles, so back and forth, side to side, rotation, rocker, all that jazz. Basically, if you've messed around with an Ultimate Predator recently, and that's pretty much all there is these days for the most part, uh, you know what to expect here. There are, of course, a few other little things that move, but we'll talk about those later. The looks and the aesthetic is my personal main draw when it comes to this figure. Because again, it's, it's the original Predator. It's our jungle hunter from the first movie. So if you're into Predator, there's little chance you don't love this movie and this Predator. That would be weird, sort of, right? I mean, you do you, but this is the Predator to kind of fawn all over because he's the one that started it all. And I think NECA's done a really good job here to bring this figure to life in plastic. It's a great figure. There is a ton of detail sculpted onto this figure. There is a ton of paint, a lot of small detail, a lot of little touches, not to mention the flourishes they've added when we get to accessories. So, of course, you've got, you know, our kind of seven inch scale figure here done up on that ultimate style body. We've got all of our shoulder pads and our armor. We've got the tubes here. You've got the gauntlet with the opening data pad here with the, uh, you know, the kind of the predator runes in there. You've got our plasma caster on the back. This guy is removable and I mean, it's, it's technically an accessory, but I'd say it's more often than not you're going to have it on the figure, so of course, as I do, I always put it on there. And this guy does move, and he uh, swivels from side to side, and kind of uh, bobbles up and down, ball peg in there. And we'll talk more about that here shortly. You've got, you know, all of the netting that's painted on this figure, and there is a lot of painted netting on here, all over the thighs, on the back on the shoulders, on the chest, on the left bicep. Just a great deal of paint work goes into just even doing that. And I always appreciate the fact that, you know, when it comes across really, really well, you can tell that NECA did a great job to do it because 
This one is really clean against that kind of cream colored body. It would be really easy to see where netting was missed or just, you know, messed up. And this one looks pretty clean and nicely done. You've got his uh, kind of leathery loincloth with the, the thigh pads leading down to the more techno style, uh, you know, shin guards, which leave the feet exposed. There's all kinds of gunk and muck and grime all over him, which work really well for this figure because, of course, he's wading around in the mud and uh, just the nastiness of the rainforest. And then of course you've got all these little embellishments on the figure. You've got underneath the the chin here, you've got the, the, the necklace with some small bones on it. You've got the the strap here that has a myriad of small skulls and then you've got the spine that comes down on the other one. So he's highly decorated. He's covered in kill markings. And then you've got our other gauntlet here with the extendable blades over here, which I love. There's a lot of sculpt in this thing right here. There's a ton of tiny detail. It's really metallic, very, very shiny, but it's also really dirty at the same time, if that makes sense. So you can tell that there's an underlying sheen, but it's also covered up with a bunch of muck and grime and goop. And I love everything about the way this figure looks. I think he's expertly detailed. And, you know, for, for the price point on this figure, it's really hard to beat this level of detail. Not to go crazy and praise NECA un, un, unduly, but this is a solid action figure, and it certainly looks the part. Of course, we've got to talk about this head sculpt as well, and this is one of two heads that we get for this particular figure. So we've got the masked face here. You can see we've got some battle damage on there, some dings. Those are pretty good. They almost look a little too clean for my taste. If there's one thing that kind of sticks out, it's like this one right here. Almost looks a little too clean, if if that makes any sense. And then you've got the, the scope on the side of the head there. But the, the mask itself has a really kind of grimy nature to it. It's definitely got some sheen to it, but you can see there's like spotting on it almost, and it's definitely not pristine, which I think looks really nice. It's a small little touch that stands out when you're looking at it. And then, of course, you can see some of the Predator head sticking through that lead back to the, the always present uh, dreadlocks, which look great. Each of them individually sculpted and painted with the little gold adornments. And it's, it's the classic mask. You can't go wrong here. Now, as far as accessories goes, this guy is an ultimate figure, so he does come with quite a bit of stuff. You can see that we've got the extra head on him already, and it's just fantastic. It's a great head sculpt. It's a classic Predator look. He's got all of those ridges that run up around the head. Of course, you've got the mandibles, which are telltale Predator design. Tons of spotting, a lot of paint work. Great texture on this thing. A lot of sculpted detail really crammed into a very small uh, small bit of real estate. So there's a lot to look at. There's a lot to take in. Just know that it looks fantastic, and I have zero issues with the paint on this one. There is a lot of paint applied here, and it all looks good. Of course, we do have the Plasma Caster, which I've already talked about. It is an accessory, though, so it's worth mentioning again. And we do get something for this, which, frankly is one of the coolest accessories in here. We have got a blast effect for this thing. So you can pop it into the, uh, the little hole at the end there and you've got a plasma blast coming out and it's really well done. It sticks nice, it's not too big, it's not too small. And the way this particular plasma caster is built, it's a little more stiff, I guess, is a good way to say it. So it doesn't fall over, it stands really well and it holds that effect up nicely. We've got an extra set of hands. So the first set of hands we get is one hand is closed and one hand is open. So it's a closed right hand and a gripping left hand. These are the extra hands which are both style pose open hands. So of course you can kind of get him into that classic squaring off pose when you're wanting to throw him up against Dutch or something like that. We've got this guy here which is the mask for the Predator, but it's not one that he wears. This is to kind of set the scene to when he takes his mask off in the movie, so you can have him holding it with these hands in particular, kind of revealing that face. It's basically the same thing that's on the, the regular head sculpt, just loose, so to speak. And then we have got a couple of really cool accessories. So you have got one of the human skulls here, which is really well painted, expertly sculpted. I love when these are included in this particular line because, I mean, come on, this is a classic type of Predator thing to have a trophy or just to be messing around with guts and bones and stuff. So this is really cool. And then we have got the human uh, spine and skull, which is easily one of my favorite accessories in the whole thing. Just like the standard skull, just, you know, 
more of it, so to speak. The only real downside that I've got with this one is that because of how this this arm, the left arm, is are is built because of the tubes, he has a bit of a difficulty kind of hoisting it in the air sometimes because this is the arm that has the gripping hand so you've got to hold it in this one. You can still do it, don't get me wrong, but just take a little more care when it comes to actually doing it so you don't tear those tubes. Otherwise, this guy comes fully loaded with just about everything you could need, you know, except for maybe a bucket of mud to throw on him to make him even dirtier and even more realistic to the movie. So overall, this is a great figure. I wasn't expecting anything less. I have been churning through some Ultimate Style Predators lately, and it's nice to finally have the original one without having to buy them on the aftermarket. I'm really, really happy that NECA decided, well, one, to reissue them, and then two, to reissue them now while I'm really getting deep into Predator stuff again. So this is a great figure to have, especially if you've never gotten him before, or if you just needed to upgrade from a regular issue Predator to an Ultimate. There is a lot of cool stuff in this package, the figure is articulated well, he's sculpted well, he's painted well, and there's just a lot of fun stuff to be had in here. We got all the spine and, and, and bone effects, we've got the plasma blast, there's a lot of cool accessories packed in with this figure, and for the price point, you really can't beat it. There's a lot in this box for what was ultimately like, what, I think $25, which is crazy to think, but NECA does a good job of actually cramming this box full of stuff for a pretty small amount of money. So that's gonna do it for this look at the NECA Toys Ultimate Predator Jungle Hunter. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time. <laughs>